Paul's now putting on the style with his modern prawn cocktail. He's made a salsa to introduce the classic tomato flavour to the dish. And he's also making crisps as an accompaniment. That's novel. Thin slivers of potato, quickly fried in very hot oil. And Paul's making one final touch to the dish that he hopes will give him the edge over Richard. All right, now, so the quail's eggs, that's a bit posh, isn't it? It is a bit posh, yes. but it's quite royal at the same time, <laughs> I think, you know? I think I have had them at the palace, actually. So your little bits of potatoes are doing all right. We've got the prawns well, the langoustine ready. We've made the mayo, got the little salsa thing going. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just a bit and, of salad, you know. And the salad. You always need the shredded lettuce with your prawn you cocktail, don't you? That's not shredded lettuce, I'm sure, is it? It's sort of shredded yeah? lettuce. Yeah. Posh. Posh. It's posh shredded, shredded lettuce. Yeah. All yeah. right. I can't yeah. wait to see it. I'm going to go and find out how Richard. Sure. Did. Cool. <laughs> Back across the worktop, Richard is finessing the other elements in his smoked salmon starter. All oh, right, young man. It's all going, I have to tell you, it's going very well over on the other side. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Mm. You're worried? He's used to this TV stuff, that ranking, isn't he? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Although Richard's starter looks simple, it isn't. He's creating a special light cream cheese to go with the salmon. He's also brought some wild Irish herbs with him as a surprise touch. What we have here is my wild salads. But I have the, the woodland crest, which has been collected out, and people have foraged for me to get this. They went out to the British countryside and they've brought in these goodies in their basket. Just taste that. Wild sorrel. Can, it can be a bit tough, but, though, Richard, can't uh, it? Yeah, but this is... This is yeah, it's a bit tough. Ignoring Paul's sniping attacks, Richard's going to fry his blinis in butter and hot oil. We're just going to take a little spoonful of each one. What well, the butter is doing is forming a wonderful colour. Oh. And they have risen so, just oh, ever pretty. so lightly. Pretty. Yeah. Oh. Pretty is not a word I use in my oh, kitchen. Do I'm the taste sorry. good, it is more important, yeah? <laughs> well, it's good to be pretty yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, they are just nearly ready. It's time for plating up. This is the point where the chef becomes a sculptor and artist. As well as tasting good together, the ingredients need to look good. Presentation, very important. Presentation, huh? very important. We want to see everything. It wants to look natural. It doesn't want to be looking like it's been built by an architect. Those are two very hot dishes, you know. They are. They God, look we can fantastic. cook, man. God, we can cook, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Here we have it, first and second. Yeah. No doubt about it. Now, just my